Well, hello, friends. Um, it's the end of the month, so I thought that I would do another monthly update video. Um, but before we begin, let me show my Patreon real quick. So the Serenity operating system and all of my content about it is always going to be free and open source. But if you would like to support my work and maybe one day make it possible for me to do this full time, um, then do check out my Patreon. There's a link in the description below. And uh, as always, a huge thank you to uh, those of you who are already supporting me on Patreon. Uh, you guys are the sweetest, so thank you uh, for that. So let's talk about what's been up in Serenity in the last month. The, um, the big new thing in July is sound support. So with the addition of a kernel sound card driver, uh, we've been able to start building out a proper sound system. And it is a simple uh, client-server architecture where clients connect to a um, audio server process, which then mixes together sound from all the different processes and forwards it to the sound card. Um, so let me play for you uh, a sound here. I don't know how well you could hear that through the speaker actually, so let me increase the volume. Hopefully you can hear that. Fancy Windows 2000 startup sound. Um, and then another thing that I also made for the sound system is, um, I'll show you this other thing here. <laughs> it's the little piano application. Um, and it's not super friendly with um, screen recording. But you get the idea. Um, I have a, a video demo of it where you can sort of see it better. I think it's the webcam screwing it up. Um, but anyway, uh, there's that little synthesizer thingy there. Um, and um, yeah, so that's the, that's the sound system. Of course, we were loading a, a wave WAV file here. Uh, so we have support for, for loading those and, and resampling all the different bit rates and stuff. Um, so that's, that's the news in the sound system. Um, and then let me show you some new stuff in the process manager. So um, first thing you notice is that uh, app icons show up here now. So you can see that it's a terminal icon. Let's sort by PID actually, so you can see recent stuff. Um, yeah, so uh, process icons show up. And then if you select the process, then we also have this little pane down here now where you can see the memory map of this process. So you can see all of the different um, virtual memory ranges here and what they contain, what kind of access um, you have to it and stuff. That's pretty neat. And then if you go here into the stacks tab, you can see what this process is doing right now because uh, these are live um, thread stacks for that process. Of course, the terminal process isn't really doing anything interesting, so we can instead look at maybe the Windows Server process and uh, we'll see that he's uh, sort of doing different stuff depending on uh, where we um, sample him. Said so some pretty cool stuff in the process manager. So let me close that down. Um, and then I guess I can show you some, some GUI stuff that we've improved. Uh, so bring up the widget gallery here. So these uh, vertical sliders are new. Uh, I mean, it's just <laughs> the horizontal slider, but vertical instead, but it is new. Um, and then we also have this uh, proportional variant where um, this the knob of the slider is like um, proportional to the, the range of the slider value. Um, and then another thing is that uh, if you hold down one of these spin box things now, then it will keep going up <laughs> at a steady interval. Um, that's new this month. Um, and then I can show you in the little Hello World app, you'll notice that it says Hello uh, World on two lines. Uh, that's also new. Um, the ability to have a text that's multiple lines, um, it's uh, all the way down to the painting system. And now actually it respects new line characters and, and um, when painting text basically, so that's new. Um, what else? I can show you the, um, in the text editor. You'll see that the line numbers now start at one. <laughs> Previously we were starting at zero, uh, which was uh, very silly. Um, and, um, and then if we bring up the open window here, uh, we have all kinds of interesting uh, improvements to the um, 
file open dialog. For instance, it says open file now instead of some um, class name that we had before, this little go to home directory thing. You can see um, modified uh, information here, like last modification time. Um, and just all kinds of neat little uh, improvements to it. And there's a lot more, it's just, uh, it's just uh, <laughs> it's slipping my mind right now. But um, uh, we've got a, lot of, we've got a lot of good patches for the file picker. Um, and then I guess I can show you the file manager. So uh, the first thing that comes to mind is, so these guys here, <laughs> when you're switching the view type, uh, these buttons are now um, part of a, this thing called an action group, which allows you to have a bunch of um, entries in a toolbar that are exclusive. So like if you pick one of them, then the other ones become unselected. It's a little thing, but I, I like it. So these are built using that mechanism. Um, and then I've added file system notifications, which means that, um, let me go ahead and create a new directory here. Hello. Uh, and it will show up right away here in the um, file manager. We didn't have to refresh or anything. That's pretty neat. Um, and then I can also show you another thing, which, so this di um, dialogue here is modal, so I can't interact with, um, file manager other than resizing it, which went horribly wrong, actually. <laughs> but uh, maybe we should disallow that. Uh, but I can't really do anything with it. And now I also cannot interact with the menu while there's a modal dialog up. So that's new as well. Um, okay. Uh, and then if I bring up the font editor, I can tell you that uh, this user interface here, um, boring as it is, um, is now made with a visual builder. So uh, the visual builder program is now able to export JSON um, descriptions of what you build in it. And then we can, we have a C++ code generator that takes that JSON, turns it into C++ and then um, can compile it into a regular Serenity GUI program. And font editor is the first such program. So this is made in the visual builder now. It's pretty cool. Um, what else do we have? So I guess uh, there were various things in the um, kernel um, that have changed. It's hard to show them, but uh, we have support for multiple hard drives. Uh, we have a floppy driver. Um, there's a reboot syscall now, so you can reboot with all them. I'm not going to show that to you because <laughs> that will just screw everything up. Um, and there has been a lot of work, um, you know, under the hood uh, on uh, the scheduler and many other things that have that keep just keep getting better and, and nicer and and um uh just, i wish i could show that in some interesting way but it doesn't make sense so whatever uh <laughs> so i guess i guess this is uh really all i could think about showing you right now so i'm kind of out of stuff to talk about uh so i just want to say thank you for stopping by and for checking out the project. And uh, for those of you who hang out regularly, thank you for always coming back and um, chilling with me while I continue to work on this crazy project. Um, thank you, everyone. And I'll see you next time. Bye.